Hi guys, Heather Divine Guidance Tarot back at you with another pick a deck. This time it is messages from the goddesses. So go ahead and take your pick. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to just move these out of the way. So if you chose, consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. The card number is 50. Let's see what the goddesses have to say to you. We have companionship. Matt, judgment. The seven of swords. Temperance. The four of swords. The Two of Pentacles, the Wheel, Zhao Sheng, the Mystic of Peace, the Justice card, the Page of Cups, Venus or Love, the Two of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. So Venus obviously is the Greek goddess of love. Matt is the Egyptian goddess that um, she's the daughter of Ra. And um, her job was to uh, weigh, to, to decide whether or not a soul was worthy of ascending into the heavens. And she would weigh the heart against um, her eternal feather to see if the cosmic scales were balanced. Okay. Um, and then uh, she was the red mystic of peace. I don't know very much about her other than uh, she had a dream about being in a red mist the night before she gave birth to her son. And they called her like the mystic of peace because her son was okay. And I guess it's bad if you dream like that or something. I don't really recall. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll get the book. Because there could be like something in there. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm saying? So let's see. Okay. Albert Einstein reportedly said that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Clarity only comes from clarity. There is a peace and calm that exists far beneath the constant banter most of us listen to all day within our minds. Wu we in Toyism translate as doing nothing. It's a sacred feminine art of trusting the life force that exists within us all. She mastered the spiritual practice by calming her mind and experiencing the still center that's at the eye of every storm. Zhao is a call for us to be still, to do nothing other than to shift our awareness, come out of the current state of mind we're in before making any moves or decisions. She reminds us that we only want to take action when what is moving us is the force of love at the heart of everything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So I feel like you're being asked to take a look at what you feel is love. Okay. How are you judging what love is? What are you judging love against? Are you judging it against all your past relationships? So when you don't learn a specific lesson from a person or you learn the lesson with that person, but continue the habit without that person, another person that is exactly like the person you just left will come into your life because you're manifesting it again. I feel like you guys kind of, um, 
I feel as though you, you, uh, you have a, you have a very great fear of being judged by others. You have this deep seated rooted issue of being judged. It's like you think everybody's talking about you behind your back. You're triggered into anger very easily. When I feel like really all you want is, is a true connection. It's like you want a true connection, but you keep manifesting all these connections into your life that are anything but comfortable, anything but loving. And I feel it's because you guys really um, kind of don't know like what love truly is. I don't feel like you guys really have ever experienced it or what you feel is it. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys um, might be able to switch between masculine and feminine energies very easily. And it's very hard to be able to master that. And so I don't feel as though you find very many balanced people. It's like uh, everybody you find, you think at first, wow, yes, this could be my match. And then you're ended, you end up crying and broken on the floor. So you need to consider your foundation. You need to consider the foundation of love. What is love to you? What is love to you? Is love... Um, having him take you out to dinner every night and get your nails done, go home and Netflix and chill is your, you know, uh, is it, you know, a nine to five or banker man where you stay home with the kids? Is it, you guys are living in a high rise, like what, you know, or is it, it's, it's love is the, is the lack of judgment in yourself and of others. So think of like a mirror and you splash water on the mirror and it's like an altered reflection. And that's what you're seeing, an altered reflection of yourself. Okay, you're seeing an altered reflection of love. Um, and so like you have to work through the water to see the, 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 the true reflection, right? You have to wipe the water off of the mirror. You have to clear out what you think is love or how you've associate what you've associated as love in the past and decide what is love to you is love being penniless and poor and having six babies do you know what i'm saying and, but being truly madly sexually attracted to each other do you know what i'm saying or is love to you someone who just you know is okay with swinging do you know what i'm saying like <coughs> but True divine love, not romantic love, is the lack of judgment in yourself and of others. All right. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you have a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. Love and light. All right. If you got treasure your loved ones, it is important to love others deeply. This is your reading. We have the Three of Cups, the Two of Swords, Despair, the Morgan or Sovereignty, the Knight of Wands, the Magician. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, what happened to, oh, they're there, Catherine Labour, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So there's actually a quote that she says in this book that I want to read to you. I forget the exact quote and I want to get it right. So I'm going to read it to you. Let's see. I'm trying to find where she is. Though. 
it is. Okay. Okay. So she asked Mary in a vision why some of the rays don't reach the earth. Okay, in 1830, Catherine had a vision of Mary standing in the Vesica Pisces with the rays of light streaming out from the center of her open palms. She asked Mary in the vision why some of the rays don't reach the earth, and Mary explained, those are the graces for which people forget to ask. Catherine was instructed to create a miraculous medal based on this vision of Mary. All who wear them, it is believed, will receive great graces. St. Catherine's miraculous medal became widely popular among all sects of Christianity. It is worn by millions of Christians all over the world to this day. So she created, um, she created the uh, Virgin Mary um, <clears throat> medal. That's, that's crazy. Um, okay, so, so for many of us, lack of self-worth can get in the way of realizing that we can ask for so much more. There are so many miracles, graces, and blessings that don't arrive simply because we refuse to ask for them. Okay. Then you have the Morgan sovereignty. That's interesting. That is really interesting that you have two different sovereignty cards. The Morgan uh, were the warriors. So I feel as though you guys have, um, I feel as though you guys are spiritual people, very, very, very spiritual people. Okay. Um, you have a deep faith, even if you're not, even if you're just religious, you have a deep faith. And I feel as though you have a deep faith in, in, um, healing. I feel like you're a healer. If you chose this pile, you're a healer. You help people out of love, out of God's love. You feel God's love and you give it to others. However, I do feel as though you're meant to heal more than your friends and family. I feel like a lot of you guys just heal your friends and family. Not even intentionally, just by being you. Just by carrying that God and goddess energy inside of you. Um, I feel as though you um, prefer a more natural look. Um, like maybe you don't wear a lot of makeup, but you're naturally really pretty. Um, I feel like a lot of people put you in third party situations, okay? And I feel as though... Uh, not even romantically, just even friendship wise, people try and get you to choose sides. And it's like when you don't choose sides or you choose the side that you feel is fair in choosing, you know, it makes you very sad to lose that person. But I feel as though you are, you're a cycler. So you tend to go back to old habits, old people, you're very energetically um, vulnerable. And so you pick up other people's bad habits and carry them with you instead. So a lot of you guys should start uh, taking Epsom salt baths. Okay. Maybe get uh, Mother Mary, um, you know, uh, the Virgin Mary pendant and wear it um, or a rosary. Maybe go to your Catholic church and get some holy water and put it in a water bottle and spritz yourself. Just make sure you are, um, you could even shield yourself energetically, you know, put yourself in a golden bubble, pink bubble, blue bubble, whatever bubble, you know, build, build up your shield. Do you know what I'm saying? So that you don't hear other people's negative comments. You don't hear other people's negative interpretations of your reality. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. And we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right, if you chose, take a chance on love. When we start to love, our loves are changed forever. Our lives are changed forever. 
So take a chance on love. What is your message from the goddesses? True offering. Fogma, envy. The sun. The lovers. The eight of cups. The four of pentacles. Sappho, Potus. The Ten of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Did you get that twice? You did. You got the Four of Pentacles twice. The King of Swords. And the Three of Wands. So right away, I can tell you that I feel like you have a lot of people that are envious of you, okay? I feel like you are someone that is, um, Sappho is the poetess, and, and she loved win the women's body, right? She, she would sing praises. She, she would build her sisters up. She loved the feminine body, and she wrote poetry about it. She's actually one of the only known uh, female poets um, of her time. That I think there were only like two or three. And uh, hers was very controversial because it was written by a woman and it was about a woman. Um, and so like they burned a lot of her poetry. And the lovers right there, this story, okay. Um, Linus had a sister, okay. Um, and so when she got engaged to Gareth, when Leonis got engaged to uh, Gareth, her sister, um, they wanted to have sex before the wedding and her sister wouldn't allow it. Her sister constantly interfered. Uh, so, and with the sun here, it's like people are constantly interfering with your happiness. Okay, I feel like you love your friends especially this is a very feminine group. So even if you're a man, I feel as though you tend to hang out with more women because you, you love your, you value your friendship so fiercely. Okay. When you offer your friendship to someone, you truly, truly mean it. And I feel like you take a chance on offering friendship to lots of people. And it's like, they don't put in the same amount of work or energy that you're putting in. And so it kind of like evaporates or falls apart. But I feel like these people don't let you go. Like you might let them go, but they kind of latch on to you and steal from your abundance. Because if you can see the four of pentacles right next to the ten of cups and then the eight of cups and the four of pentacles. So you walk away. The When you walk away, that's when they try and hold on tighter. Okay, people tend to hold on to you, okay, or collect you. But, you know, um, because they they... They want your energy. Do you know what I'm saying? And and you, I feel, have invested a lot of time and energy into other people and other people didn't reciprocate. Or if they did, it, if you stopped, it was like, it's like when you put up your boundaries, you lose your friends. And let me tell you, those are fake ass fucking friends. Okay. Those are fake ass fucking friends. If you put up a boundary with someone and they're like, see ya, bitch. That was not a friend because a friend would respect your boundaries and it's okay to put up healthy boundaries. And I feel like you guys know that. I feel like you guys put up healthy boundaries. You value your friendships. You always try and do what's right. But I feel like you, you might have a hard time like cutting the cord. I feel like you, you tend to go back to the same people. Okay. Uh, the same friendships. Instead of moving forward, it's like you kind of go back um, and give them another chance. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you give you give people more than one chance. I feel like if someone pushes you too, too, too far, it's just going to be cut off completely. But I feel like you're someone that might take breaks from people too. Like if you feel people starting to get too clingy or too attached to you, you'll kind of take a break from that person or maybe cause an argument in order to get that person away from you just so you could have a break. But I feel like you always reconnect with them. So, but with her right here, she was so jealous 
of her husband's second wife that she used black magic to try and um, kill her. And she lost her head for it. So just... Be your own person. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of any, don't don't envy other people for what you don't have. Instead, look to what you do. So, you know, just just follow your your true self, your true inner voice, and don't don't feel a, a sense of lack. You're not lacking anything. People were taking it from you, okay? You're not lacking anything other than having too much empathy. And there is a difference between empathy and sympathy, okay? Someone can sympathize with you and say, I'm sorry that happened, but they can only sympathize and be sorry because they've never experienced it. Empathy is when you have experienced something and you or something close enough to what someone is talking about that you understand the feelings that they are feeling in that moment. And there is a big difference, and a lot of people don't realize that. You're showing too much empathy. It's okay to show sympathy, but you are showing too much empathy, and you're giving too much of yourself. Okay? All right. If that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. And we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right. So if you chose the union of hearts, there is a connection of love that defies explanation. We have aging. Change, obsession. The hanged man, the judgment, death, the seven of pentacles, Lilith, the first woman, the chariot, the king of cups. The Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So with the obsession right next to the aging, I feel like a lot of you guys are obsessed with getting older. Okay, with getting older. Because she had this obsession with becoming a goddess. Okay, becoming a god, a goddess, and ascending into the heavens. But she got stuck at the moon with only the rabbits to keep her company, looking at the moon, looking at, you know, looking at the heavens and not being able to move forward and then looking at earth at what she had left behind. She was stuck. Her obsession was what was making her stuck. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are older and are fearing the aging process. Okay. And I feel like you're stuck in this obsessive need to feel younger. Okay, um, I feel like the person that you're thinking of is younger than you, this King of Cups right here. Um, and uh, it's like you want to match that. Um, I feel like with Lilith here, Lilith was the first woman. She was Adam's first wife because she was made from the same earth as him. And uh, he, she refused to submit to him because she considered herself equal to Adam. And um, she took off with another angel. She took off with an angel out of the garden after she called out the Lord's name. And so she was turned into a demon by the church. She was turned into a baby soul-sucking demon by the church. But in reality, she was someone who simply wouldn't settle. Okay, um, so I feel like with that, I feel like you guys haven't settled down. It's like you you fear that you're getting too old to settle down and have a family. Okay. You feel like, you feel like every time. Okay. So I feel like you guys get into relationships a lot, but it becomes like obsessive. 
Okay, I feel like you guys get into a relationship and it becomes almost obsessive. It's like you get lost in this fantasy about how your life is gonna be when you know when you first meet this person. It's like you meet someone, you're you go on a date and you meet them, and it's like you have the your life planned out. It's like you can you can see it, you know what I'm saying? And you're you're like obsessed with I feel like you're like obsessed with having this perfect family life or children, you know, a home. Uh, you're you're obsessed with having a family. And I think with Lilith here, right next to the chariot, and the King of Cups is over there, it's trying to tell you, you don't need a man to have a family. You don't, there's adoption, there's in vitro fertilization. I mean, technology has advanced so far that you don't need a man to have a child. You can even go to a bar and get knocked up by some random person. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that. Not that I would recommend that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying it's that easy to have a child on your own and a family. You don't need a man or a woman to complete it. However, since I feel like that's what you want, I do feel like that's what you're going to get. Let me grab a clarifying deck. I feel like that's what you're manifesting. <clears throat> But it's like you move too quick for them. Yeah, four of wands. It's like you're instantly wanting a home. You're in, you're like, you're in a rush. Yeah, the lovers. You rush them to make a decision. Your partners. And it freaks them out. And then they run right away. They run from whatever you offer them. And then you're stuck hanging there. So I feel like what they're trying to say to you is get out of the obsessiveness or the feeling that you need someone to help you achieve your dreams and your goals. Okay? All right, if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below, and we will get you set up. Okay. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Okay. Striving. Magic or Isis. Kuan Yin, Sacrifice, or the Hanged Man. The last deck got the Hanged Man, too. The Ace of Cups. You might want to go look at it. The Queen of Wands. Sarah Lockley, the Queen of the Outsiders. The Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Page of Cups, and Inanna Seduction. So Inanna had this goddess-like energy, okay? She could just seduce anyone. She could, she could, she manipulated people. So for me, this is coming out for me. This is saying that you have the ability to manipulate others. You have the ability to energetically manipulate others. You have the, you use your sexuality, in a manipulative way, especially with the magician there and the, the hanged man and the ace of cups. It's like you dangle love offers in front of people to get what you want. And a lot of times you just kind of leave people there because you are very single. Okay. But I do feel as though you're upfront about it with the honesty is essential here. And this is the queen of wands with the nine of pentacles. I feel like you're very upfront about it. I don't feel like you hide it. I feel like you know that you can seduce anyone and I feel like you're you're manipulative, but you kind of like everybody knows it and if they choose to fuck with you, you know, that's on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're very mysterious and seductive. Um and I feel like a lot of people want you like as theirs, but you don't want to settle down with just one person. It's because people give you things or take you places or, um, you know, you're just living your best life and you're having fun while doing it. But 
you you're someone who likes to have a lot of options around and um but I, you're honest about it you know what i'm saying so that that's not a bad thing however i do feel as though uh you kind of tend to ghost people instead of being honest i feel like when you're you're a very honest person about how you live your life about how you date around or sleep around or whatever you do um you're very honest about what you do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like when you, you break it off with people, it's like you just block them and forget about them. And that leaves people very angry at you. OK, and left feeling like left on the outside of your life. And it like makes them almost obsessed with you. So using your energy like that too much is going to create obsessive stalker people in your life. You don't want that. So use your gifts when it's appropriate. See what I'm saying? Nine of Pentacles, again, single and in your power. Page of Cups, you have a lot of people watching you, wanting to jump to get to you, but you, you know, have all the, you have all your, your you're like, don't fucking come, you, you're not going to make it. This person is not going to make it. Like, they're jumping right into it. It's like people jump, people would jump into fire into danger just to like have a kiss from you you're that sexual you're that mag mad magnetic that's insane you're you have that much sexual energy you got <laughs> the ace of wands the knight of wands and the ace of pentacles so it's like you are so sexually attractive but it's like it's not just sex it's like people want to start something with you they want you for theirs it's it's obsessive it's actually kind of creepy so just i'm just wanting you to kind of lay off using so much of your sexual manipulation didn't say it was a bad thing didn't say don't do it i said maybe kind of lay off and <laughs> back up a little because you know that's going to come back to you so Anyway, I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. So if you chose love is all around you. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. Service. Drama. The Wind Harps of War, Strength, The Page of Cups, Frigid, Goddess of the Eternal Flame, The Two of Pentacles, The Five of Swords, The King of Swords, Transformation or Death, and the Eight of Wands. Boy, you guys really went through it. You guys really went through the ringer. Bridget appears when you are in such a dark night of the soul. You can't even see any light. She is the light at the end of the tunnel, the goddess of the eternal flame. So I feel like a lot of you guys went through a really huge bout of depression recently because of something that happened, some sort of drama that happened that I feel might have happened maybe in the workplace or a church or it, it occurred in a social setting. Okay, this drama involves you and it occurred in a social setting. And whatever happened, you embraced, you communicated correctly, you did what you were supposed to do, you showed love, you showed compassion, you showed a loyalty, you, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys are, are being seen in a, in a better light. After this drama that happened, I feel like you're being seen in a better light. It's like people see you differently now because love is all around you. So many people love you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like 
whatever drama happened, you're, you got out of it by using your communication skills. But I feel like for a while there, people were just coming at you. It was like tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. It was just like lesson after lesson after lesson. And there's one big final lesson, but I feel like you guys passed your test. I feel like that was a test and I feel like you guys passed it. I feel like you held on to hope. You did what you needed to do to move past the sadness that you felt in that moment and kept, keep going. And I feel like you guys are going to get rewarded for that. You are the magician. You guys are going to be rewarded by the universe for working through your, your issues. Probably father issues with the king of cups here. Probably father issues. You might have had abandonment issues. Fear of abandonment. You have the hermit. So this was a spiritual connection, okay? I feel uh, the drama is, is, is part of your spiritual path. It's meant to show you what you don't want, okay? It's meant to show you what not to do, okay? It's telling you to, you know, you're not the queen of cups in reverse. You don't deserve a page of wands offer, okay? You are the empress and you deserve a two of cups offer. Okay. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. With some good sex. With some really, really, really good sex. Could be a Scorpio or a Taurus Virgo. Uh, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo. Scorpio. But yeah. So nice. Nice job, guys. I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we will get you set up. Love and light.